Thank you so much for clicking play on today's tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to add a pop-up light box to your Squarespace website. I'm Katherine Forbes, founder of Designing the Row, creator of Music Biz Besties, which you see here, and I'm a Squarespace expert, authorized trainer, and circle member. So the first thing I'm going to do, obviously, is log into my site by hitting escape. And then, once the sidebar pops up, I'm going to go into marketing, and then promotional pop-up. So you can see here is a pop-up that I've had on my website before. Um, if I wanted to turn this back on, I will, all I would have to do is toggle this little bar right here to display the pop-up. But I'm going to show you how to create a new one and how to edit and create one for yourself. So first I'm going to do, um, I'm going to change this layout here. So you can see in the layouts there's a variety of options here depending on how much space you want it to take up and where on your website you want it to pop up. So you can see the one I have selected is right in the middle of the screen and is meant to send someone to another link. The other ones, let's see, here's one that will go kind of in the bottom corner of your website. This one goes across the bottom of your website, which is not the best for mine since I have this Your Account button down here in the bottom. This one will do full screen, so it will cover up your whole website. And same with this one down here in the bottom, but my face is covering up. <laughs> I'll see if I can move my face here up to this side. Click this. This one also takes up the whole screen. But let's today go with, let's go with this one. So I'm going to save and then go back to promotional pop-up. And then all we do is just go down and edit each one of these options. So let's go into action first. Um, I accidentally kind of swiped in my, browser was trying to go back so that's why it asked that. So you can see here your options are either to get someone to sign up for a newsletter or to click a button. So we can go with the sign up for a newsletter option today. So you see it already dropped in an email address and sign up button here. So then you have to tell it where you want the email address to be stored. So if you have Squarespace email campaigns and just click right here and connect it to your list or click connect to other services if you want to connect to MailChimp or Google Drive. Um, since I'm just doing this as a demo, I'm not going to pick any of those, but um, just pick one of these, whichever one you want your emails to be stored. If you would like to change the text that goes in this box, you can do that here. Um, I think email address is probably just fine though. Um, subscribe, you can do like get discount depending on what you want to say here. Um, disclaimer, if you want to change that, whatever you want to say after they hit that, that sign up button, you put that here. So once you have all of that set, then hit save. What's going to make me set up? Or let's just do this to make it happy. So we'll save that and then go back to promotional pop-up and content. Let's say put in your header and I'm just going to type some dummy text here and then hit save and then back again and then display and timing. So this is when you get to tell it when you want it to pop up on your website and how often and what all of those things. So the first thing you're going to select is show the pop-up on. Your options are any first page or only certain pages. So if you want it to show up on any page that someone comes to land on your site, then go to any first page. So if someone clicks over to your blog from social media, whatever blog post they pick, this pop-up will show up. 
but if you select only to, let's say, show up on your home page, if they go from social media to your blog, they're not going to see this pop up. So this is what this option here is for. Let's go any first page. Then you get to select what um, when the timing of this is going to pop up. So if you want it to show four seconds after they land on your site, you can do that. If you want it to show when they're 25% down the page when they're scrolling, or if you want to do a combination of both, you can do that. I'm going to say show on timer immediately. So right now, any first page that someone lands on on my website, this is going to pop up immediately. And then let's say someone puts their email in and then what happens next time they come to my website? Do you want them to see it again or not? Do you want them to see it the next day, the next week, or two weeks, or never? When do you want them to see it again? Or do you just not ever want them to see it again if they sign up? And do you want to show it on mobile? I'm going to click one and not the other, and then hit save. And back. Add an image. If you'd rather have an image here in this background rather than that gray geometric, you can just click and drag that in here. I'm just going to leave the pattern there. And then style. This is just like editing the site styles for your site, except it's just for this pop-up. So I can change the font on the headline for the body. Let's see, let's make that a little bit bolder and maybe a little bit bigger. The background, let's see, let's make this, oops, not the right, there we go. And then if I want to, let's see, make it a little bit see-through, we can do that. Let's see what overlay color do we want here. And let's make the button white text black. So you can just style this however you would like. And then you can change the animation of how it pops up. Slide in, scale up, or fade in. And we're going to leave it like that. And then save. And back. And then whenever you are ready, once you've edited all five of these options, the action, content, display and timing, image, and style, and you're ready for it to go live, just toggle this bar on right here, hit save, and you are good to go with your new pop-up. And when you're ready to turn it off, just come back into marketing and then promotional pop-up and turn this off. So if you have any other questions for me about promotional pop-ups, just leave them for me down in the comments. And if you have suggestions on any other videos that you would like me to make, let me know that too. So thanks so much for watching.